Hey guys, so today I wanted to do like a mixture of how I contour my face and also highlight, you know, that junk that was on my eyeballs on my Instagram. Yeah, so I wanted to just show you like my quick and easy way how to sculpt the face so it looks, you know, thin and chiseled. So if you want to see how I sculpt my face and get it all contoured and stuff and yeah then just keep watching. I know I look really probably weird right now I just have like my foundation on right now and I've already set my foundation I did my brows I do have a brow routine if you want to check that out um, also if you guys want to see like an in-depth foundation routine or how I do my foundation let me know and I'll try to do one for you um, I'll list all the products that I use in this video in the description box so if you want to know what I use all of that will be there All right, so somehow my camera decided to record in time lapse. So what I did was I took this Rimmel concealer, ran that along my under my eyes in an upside down triangle shape, down my nose, center of my forehead, top of my lip here. I did a little bit here on the sides and then my chin. And you can take your finger or like a real technique sponge or a beauty blender. This one's pretty gross, don't mind that. And then I literally just blended everything out until it's smooth and until I look like a complete cake face. So next step after you've blended everything out, um, this step is kind of optional. If you want to skip this, you can. If you want to just set your under eye with a um, pressed powder like this one. I use this one all the time. This is the Stay Matte. Um, pressed powder by Rimmel and it's in the shade transparent and you can just take like a fluffy brush This one is the elf complexion brush super cheap. This is cheap, too And you just dip 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 and you just go along underneath your eyes and all the spots that you but what I'm gonna do is called baking um, I'm gonna be taking this. I'm trying not to drop the dust this elf high definition powder and this is what I'm going to be using under my eyes and basically every single place that I put concealer. And I just kind of use the lip because this stuff is like intense. And I take the flat end of this Real Techniques sponge and just I'm going to dip that in there and get a lot on there. And then we're literally going to pack that on underneath of my eyes. Just like that. And do the other side. Water. All right, well, let's just put that much on the other side. You're gonna look pretty crazy, so don't be alarmed. And we're gonna dust all this off, don't worry. It's just a way of highlighting your face and making it look alive and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> So it should look something All like right, this. Alright, so some people will go ahead and like finish the contour part of their face and just let this sit for a while. For me, I do I do that sometimes. Sometimes I'll just go ahead and dust it off. It just depends on my mood for that day. But today, I'm going to just go all out and show you like a pretty intense version of my highlight. Alright, so next is the fun part. We're going to start um, bronzing up our cheekbones, tip of our nose, side of our nose, forehead, under the chin, all that good stuff. I'm going to be using this Too Faced um, Natural Bronzer in Sun Bunny to do that today. And then this um, e.l.f. Total Face Brush to do the contour. An easy tip if you don't think you can like get it where you want it, you can use something straight to kind of give you like you know guideline and you want to make sure you're lining it up with the top of your ear to where you're gonna contour so if you just do this and dust 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 you might be looking on alright so if you want to do the kissy face or like do this you can do that I just I don't know why but I grab my face don't mind me that's not a step you have to take I'm just gonna 
try to stay in line with the top of the ear area. Don't worry about your white powder. White powder. White powder. Get that forehead, girl. Especially girls with big foreheads like me. And just do below your jawline, chin, all that. So you look can take good. a smaller brush to get more precise on the nose. I'm using this Luxie Large Angled Brush, number 504. And just going into that bronzer again. And I'm going to use it just like this and kind of grip the tips and just do that real lightly. You don't have to become something crazy. Whew. And just blend it out. You can also do like right under here. Kind of makes you look like you have fuller lips. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and dust this powder off because it's driving me nuts. So I'm going to use my fluffy complexion brush by e.l.f. and just dust that off real quick. It's kind of like circular motions, real light. You don't want like a real heavy hand because you still want it to like set the concealer that you had. So just kind of dusty, dust it, dust it. Kind of blend everything together real lightly. Real light hand, like I'm not pressing on this. I'm barely just... Alright. Voila! Alright, so now the fun part. We're going to use this flat part of this br um, sponge, whatever. It's easier if you use like the pressed powder to just carve this out or if you want to use that definition powder we used earlier to set our concealer, you can use that too. But I'm just going to use the pressed powder just because I don't feel like dealing with that freaking baby powder right now. So I'm just going to, I kind of just like dig the tip in there because that's what we're using anyway. And then you're literally just going to carve this out. So with a steady hand, just carve out your cheeks and just kind of dust that like that so that way we have that real clean look on our on our cheekbones I swear it's just like my eyebrows one always looks better than the other and that's how it is when I do this you just wanna it's easier if you just run your face along with it instead of using this as a guideline. So once you sense. get them carved out, you can either go ahead and just literally wipe off the dust right after, or you can let it sit like we did for the under eye. I don't really let mine sit that long, so with a circular motion with the fluffy brush, I just dust that off real lightly because we still want it to, you know, be sharp but not like weird looking. So just dust that off, just like that. And then with really just like one little dab back into the bronzer with our um, total face brush. Just go back over it real quick. Just real quick like that. Just so we don't lose that color. And there you go girls. That is just my simple and easy contour routine. And then, of course, the rest comes, the eye madness and the lips and all that good stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too hard and complicated for you. I know that sometimes my videos might not be very easy to follow because they're all in fast-forward motion. But I'm a cheap girl and I'm broke right now, so I can't afford, you know, the fancy camera. And I'm doing this all from my phone and I can only do so much and I only can do like eight minutes. But anyways... Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave some comments below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Let me know. Just keep on coming. Don't forget, I do have a Facebook again. So I am on Facebook. I have a beauty page. Please like it. If you can go find me, with Howard. I even have my own personal one reactivated. Oh, good luck. And I'm also on Instagram at SplitWit. I'm on Twitter at SplitWit. I'm on freaking Pinterest. I don't know what it is on so I hope this was easy to follow and thank you guys so much for all your support and don't forget to like this video and subscribe and check out my other videos and just yeah that's all I got for you today guys see you later